Hey everybody, been a while since I've been back on here again. I'm in and out all the time on YouTube. And I just want to say hello to people. And uh, last year I was going to do a lot of shooting and had a lot of issues last year that prevented that from happening. And this year I thought, well, you know, we're going to make some good videos and because I've been shooting a lot better when I've gone to ranges and stuff. But uh, I got a bitch today uh, against the ATF. Now, as people have seen on my channel, I have numerous guns, and uh, I'm not a lawbreaker. I haven't been, ever been, well, when I was younger, I used to do, you know, stupid shit that everybody does. But uh, I've never been institutionalized or categorized as to having a felony. And uh, I decided this year I was gonna buy a Smith & Wesson M&P 40 in the 2.0 model style and uh, I just thought that would look like a nice gun to have. I shot it and felt pretty good in my hand so I said, you know and the price with Bud's guns is really reasonable so I made the purchase and uh, had it shipped to the FFL guy on Friday and in the state I live in it's an instant background check. There's no waiting time on uh, handguns or long guns so they make the phone call, they get the yes or no, and you get your gun. Well, my gun was delivered on Friday to the FFL guy. I went and did the background paper, uh, background paperwork, and he made the phone call, sat there on hold for a long time, talked to somebody, and gave my money, and he goes, well, they didn't give me the okay for you. And I'm like, what? What do you mean he didn't give me the, you the okay? He goes, yeah, they told me they didn't say yes or no, so you, right now you can't have it. Like, I've never had no problem before ever. And uh, he goes, usually in the day you'll get, you know, we'll be good, so I'll get a hold of you tomorrow, which was Saturday. I waited all day for him to call me on Saturday, and it was getting pretty late in the afternoon, so I decided to call him. He goes, yeah, I called him again, and they said, still no. They didn't say yes or no, but they said you're in a holding pattern. I'm like, what do you mean a holding pattern? Just, he goes, well, all they tell you is yes or no, and uh, right now they haven't said either one. Just, they've just said not right now to him, apparently. So here it is, Sunday, and I still haven't gotten an answer. So, like I said, I haven't, since the last time I purchased any firearm, which was my AR-15. I walked right out of the gun show after he made the phone call with that lower receiver in my hand. And I have had nothing of uh, nature where the police would be involved in my life to uh, prosecute me for any kind of charge. So, is the ATF fucking with me? I'm pretty sure they are. Is this the new universal background check that I'm going through where they're being real leery and hesitant about who's going to have firearms from now on could be po very well possible. But uh, I'm expecting them to show up at my doorstep and talk to me about something in my past. But, you know, that's the way your mind works when you know you haven't done committed a crime and you should be able to walk out the door with a gun in your hand and the ATF's telling you, oh, you, we're, we got you in a holding pattern. So, can't... Uh, really don't want to say too much more it's just uh, let me know if you guys have ever had the ATF screw with you and put you through the same process I'm going through because all kinds of things are running through my head and uh, if they say no well then they need to prove to me that I did something wrong or I could go or should have been in prison as a felon and uh, I'm probably gonna be out a uh, nice chunk of change because the FFL guy is gonna have to ship that gun back to Bud's Guns, and then Bud's Guns is gonna probably give me next to nothing back in my money if they give me anything back at all, because they're gonna feel they sold the gun to a convicted felon, which I'm not. Never been prosecuted for a felony my entire life, and I'm gonna hit 60 in May. So, been pretty clean, you know, my whole life. Did some stupid shit, got warnings and paid fines, like I think most people, you know, or not most people, but you know. When you're young, you're kind of like flying by the seat of your pants and you get involved in stupid shit, you know. And, but anyway, this is where I'm at. And uh, they send that gun back and 
I don't get it. Will the ATF show up my door and take the rest of my guns? It's a thought that's running through my head right now. So anyway, let me know what you think of this video and uh, leave your comments down below. All right, y'all. Have a good day. And hopefully uh, I'll get a positive answer before the end of the day because if I don't get one by the end of the day today, this guy's got to call the ATF and say, hey, listen, you got to give us a reason on what's going on. You just can't say yes or no or, you know, you're in a holding pattern. There, there has to be a specific reason that you're, you're uh, delaying this process. So talk to you later and uh, inform me on what happens later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Most of these are in the heart right now.